I was just a gym here in the house and just kicking back waiting for my students to come. One didn't come today, so uh, I gotta wait, got like another 20 minutes or so, 25 minutes. So anyway, I had to change the title because it sounded a little too offensive, so I would change it to what I don't like in Japan. It sounds better because that's true, because actually I do like Japan. And um, Okay, so anyway, this is part four, and this is eye contact. Okay, so, um, I walk, you know, different places in Japan, bookstores, downtown, on the trains and everything, and when I first got here, it was great, you know, walking down the street and seeing all these people, and you're right dressing nice, you know, and the girls were real nice, you know, and they always smiling and stuff and giggling, and sometimes you're like, hi, you know, and some will stop, you know, that's how I end up getting like 2,000 numbers and stuff in less than a year, because the ones that'll stop and say hi, and and then kind of like one of, um, after a while, you know, after the 10th girl I talked to, I kind of got like tired and everything. I'm like, oh man, you know, these women, man, why do they keep looking at me and stuff, right? Of course, back then my hair was a lot better and I looked maybe about 20 years younger and stuff. And then I was like, muscles. I almost got a little chest, I think you can almost see it, but you know, you know, there's some muscles and stuff. And plus I dressed a lot better. And so about after the 10th woman, 10th number, which was the third day I was here, about the third, fourth day I was here, I was like, okay, fine, you know, it's all cool and stuff. And I was kind of getting bored and stuff, you know. And so I'm like, what should I do? What should I do, you know? So I just keep walking and, you know, being American and stuff, it's kind of hard to break your habits, you know, like when you come to Japan and some people looking at you, you know, and you're like, why are they looking at me? Because I'm black, because I'm white, because I'm Hispanic, because I'm fat, because I'm skinny, you know, why are they looking at me? Oh, what do I do? What do I do? You know, but I didn't have that problem. You know, when people look at me, I just smile back. Go, hello, you know, how are you? So go stand up, go sit right next to them and start talking if they don't speak Japanese and fine. But every, almost everyone I spoke to in, in Nagoya spoke English. Then I moved down to Wakayama and I really didn't talk to many people out here. And people I met, they took me to clubs and Plus, I lived this one girl. She was fine, too. Boy, she looked like Alicia Keys, a Japanese version of Alicia Keys. Boy, she was real fine. And, um, but I always hung out in Osaka. So, in Osaka, in Numeda, over by HEP 5 in the whole area downstairs, whatever. You know, just nothing. just seemed like there's nothing but women. I mean, in a day, if you do, if you walk around Umeda, then you walk from Umeda to Namba, which will take... It's kind of how fast you walk, but a nice leisurely walk would be a 30-minute walk, if that long, maybe 20 and 30 minutes. Well, hanging out in Umeda and going into the departments, like now, hanging out in Umeda, going through all the department stores, where they have a whole bunch of them, walking from HEP 5 to the Hilton Plaza and all the things they have downstairs, and then go to the other new shopping um, centers they have and go up and down all those stairs, check out all the floors, Walk down the street, Mila Suji, all the way down to uh, Hallmachi, and stop in the uh, Starbucks, you know, get a cookie or whatever, you know, and then look at all the fine women in there, and then the ones that just passing by and continuing to walk and then go to Sensei Bashi, the American Murder, or walking around there, and then going into some of those places, especially Opa, and then, uh, and I didn't say, yeah, and then go to Sensei Bashi. Then get the number, and then go downstairs to number walks, and then go to number parks, and go up and down all those stairs, and hit all these department stores. I swear, you're going to see, you're going to see about five thousand women. No joke, you're going to see about five thousand women, and I'm not even talking about the little kids and the ones that are um, over twenty and stuff. You're going to see about five thousand of them on a on a typical Saturday or a Sunday, especially Sundays because everyone's out and stuff and beautiful I mean beautiful and you know and you and if you it don't matter what you look like black white or whatever you know if you tall you know you're gonna get looks you're gonna get looks I mean I'll just about if you tall I'll say about you know if the girls aren't being just jerks you know and and, and just you know just an average normal person you know minus the knuckleheads and stuff you know that one, well, he looking at me, you know, them type of women, then I'll say 90% of the women are going to stare at you. They're going to look at you. You know, and you could be short too, and you know, yoke, skinny, doesn't matter, you know, um, it just depends. But if you're tall, of course, you stand up, stand out, and if you're handsome, man, you're going to 
I'm telling you, they're going to look. They're going to look. And they're going to look and smile. And, you know, some of them, you know. And, and, of course, you know, in America, when somebody smiles at you, quote, unquote, you're supposed to smile back, say hi, or whatever. But out here, just imagine saying, hire you 5,000 times. Come on, man. I mean, you know how us Americans are. You know, especially as American Westerners. You know, you, you get to saying hi three times and you oh man why is everybody saying hi to me you know and you know sometimes it's kind of you know that american culture starts to creep back onto you you know so you walk in i'm walking down the street and like like one day i counted like 50 girls and just one just one stoplight from the time it stopped to the time it went other girls walked across the street 50 of them right and then just just do that all day long, all day long. And you know, some of the girls are repeating stuff. Some people come and go on the trains. Oh my God, just the trains. You know, if you just go to Sensei and just go down to where the platform is in the main section of it, there's the main section, and just sit there all day, you will see about, I'm sure you could probably see in the, in the daytime, Saturday, maybe a good 5,000 women just there only. I mean, just coming because, you know, they're not repeating and stuff because, you know, they come out and people come in and out and stuff like that. You know, the ones that go on the train to pass by on both sides and then the ones that come on and wants to get off and stuff like that. And you're just sitting there, you're just looking, they look like, oh, oh, and they smile and you go, hello, and they go, oh, how are you? You know, some might come up and say, where are you from? You know, engage, you know, in a conversation, whether it's Japanese or English or whatever, you know, and then... And then, you know, you'll be tempted at first, you know, to, um, like, oh, let me get your number and stuff. You get the number, email and address and stuff like that. And then someone else, and then let's say they get on the train, and then you might have another girl who's listening. She might be interested, you know, because she sees that you're a nice person. And she'll be, like, looking, and you look, you like, you know, and of course, being American, you're like, oh, hi, how are you? And then she'll come over, hey, where are you from, da, da, da. And then, like, oh, you know, let me get your number, you know, keep in touch. Or she might even ask you. They'll just, I'm telling you, they'll just grab your phone, put their number in. You're like, huh? What just happened? You know? And I mean, it's just a trip. You just, I mean, just imagine walking 30 minutes and then having to say, "How are you?" about 700 times, you know, in 30 minutes, and. And, and if it's a crowd of girls, a lot of times it's two, sometimes three, four, five, you know, and, you, and you're walking on the street, you just see these beautiful women, I mean, my God, and I, I won't even say they're beautiful, I won't even say that, you know, the way they dress, my God, it is on, I mean, just fashion, you're like, oh, man, the stocking, I mean, like one of my friends, I call him DS, did him, you know, he was like, man, I love the stockings these girls wear, and I was like, huh, you know, I'm like, what do you got to do? Go kiss the stockings, right? I'd be more interested in women. But, you know, some of the guys are interested. I mean, I'm interested in fashion, but I wouldn't say I love her fashion. I would say I like her fashion. And I love her or something like that. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, but just imagine saying 700 times to a, these women. How are you? How are you? What's your name? Da, da, da. And you could do it. No lie. You can do it if you are shot. No, not are shot. I'm not shot. You know, if you, not, if you, I mean, you know, like me, if you got skills, you know, to say hi, and you know how to, you know, hi, which is just an aspiration, you know, you don't need your tongue or whatever, just hi, that's it, all you got to say is hi, okay, ready, for all you shy guys, we don't build your confidence, let's put the confidence aside, let's just practice skills, okay, saying hi, hi, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, hi. That's all you gotta say. If they say something, you know, it doesn't even matter. It don't even. <laughs> ha 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 ha! Somebody just emailed me, and um, it's just funny, right? So I'm just tripping and stuff, and like, man. And so sometimes though, you see these women. I mean, and then that's the ones that's walking, but the ones on the bikes too. Because these girls dress up nice. I want to make a series of Japanese girls on bikes. But, oh, my God. You're like, oh, my God. Man, they'll just trip you out. See these girls in high heels and these tight pants, nice clothes. It's on these bikes. Do, 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 do. You know, and they just maneuvering and stuff. And everything. Ooh, and you're like, some of them hit you. you know, they knock you down. You bump into somebody. It'll be a whole chain reaction. Everybody fall down my object. But just imagine just walking 30 minutes having to say hi to 700 
beautiful women. My goodness. Well, okay, I'm mean, they're all women, but I won't sound like I'm a pervert in theory. 700 nicely dressed women. Just imagine that. You know what I mean? It'll drive a person crazy. You know, and I'm like, dang. You know, so like I said, you know, after the 10th time, you get tired and stuff, and you're like, oh, man. Why do I have to walk down the street and got to see all these beautiful dressed, nicely dressed women, and then they, a lot of them are smiling, and, uh, and of course, I'm trying not to be American. I want to be like up Japanese. But that's not being Japanese because they're smiling. And I think Japanese people don't smile. But they're smiling. So what do I do? Do I become a book Japanese that I read? Or do I be like them? Smile and say hi back. Or do I be an American and say hi? Or do I be an ignorant American and get angry? So I can't get angry in the street because some beautiful women are, I mean, some nicely dressed women are looking at you. And you can't necessarily ignore them. So what do I do? Just get frustrated. Oh, man. So basically, you know, you have to wear glasses, you know, and just walk like you're blind, you know. But you should have a cane. It would be better than everybody parts your way, right? But it's frustrating. It is really frustrating. Well, I won't say it's frustrating because I'm not frustrated. But I'll say um, it's tired to say hello 500 times. My name is Ralph 500 times. You look very beautiful 500 times. I like the way you dress 500 times. Let's trade emails 500 times. What's your Facebook number or Facebook 500 times, or I mean, I'm mean, gonna drop 200 from I mean, 700 times. What's your number? 700 times. Let's go out for a drink. 700 times. Oh, I'm from Venice. 700 times. I'm 180, well, I say 80, so really 86 and a half centimeters. 700 times. Hi, 700 times. Can I see you again? 700 times. You are my number? 700 times. How old am I? 700 times. 47? 700 times. How old are you? 700 times. 700. Just imagine. 700 times that there is a possibility of you saying hello or hi or a combination of hello and hi and how are you and and fine, thank you, goodbye, hi, wow, wow, wow. Because a lot of the girls that walk by, they're like, wow. You know, that's a new thing. Now, wow. You know, especially even. But then, you get the ones that you're attracted to. And they might be in a group of three. And they're always going to be one, one and then it's like kind of at the ceiling and stuff. But you got to know how to handle them. Like the sister, just give them a hand. Right? Okay. So, got a couple of minutes. So, I'm thinking to myself... You see one, and, and you know, there's this, this, oh my God, what do I do? This, I got to build my courage. Psych! I don't need courage. I don't need confidence. Well, courage nothing. Well, I guess you would be courage, I guess, to go talk to a woman. But you need courage to talk to a woman. That's kind of strange. Okay, but anyway, confidence, right? I need to build my confidence to talk to this girl. So I'm thinking like, well, dang, I'm like 47 years old. I've been married three times, divorced twice. I got four kids, traveled around the world, not around the world, but 10 different countries or 10 different places outside the continent of the United States. I've met a lot of people and I've had a lot of girlfriends and I've had a lot of, you know, little this and that going on and stuff. You know, I had to sweat, use a towel, even take a shower and things like that. And I'm saying like after 47 years, how much confidence did I build? So I'm thinking, hmm, no, because I don't need confidence to talk. I just say hi, right? So the skills. Hi. Let's say it together. One, two, three. Hi. That's all you have to do. So after 10 times saying hi, it just gets tired, routine. But then, you know, it's the occasion when, you, like I said, you meet that fine one. You walk up to him and say, hey, hi, what's your name? And she's like, wow, you know, I saw you. 50 feet back there, and I was hoping you say something to me. Gong. My God. She had 
already had this stuff planned. Just imagine all the ones who had did and I didn't say hi.